Hey there, Toy Notes fans. It's me, Kelsey, and today we're hanging out in the Toy Notes studio. Today is going to be a very cool comparison video. If you haven't seen my video already on the LeapFrog version of Accounting Cash Register, you might want to check that one out in comparison with today's video because I'm on the hunt for the best one. I wasn't too impressed with the LeapFrog edition, so now I have just like Holmes version of account counting talking cash register. Now this one is very similar. It's, I mean, it's cash register. You're not gonna be able to do too much different with it, but it comes with batteries. It's got 25 pieces and it's rated for kids three and older. So I wanted to get into this one today. That way we can see which is the better buy or if we're still on the hunt. Well, that was a fairly easy unboxing. There's plenty of tape for sure, but once you kind of clip all of that and take all the twist clips out, it's not a problem to get into. It's boxed in a try me mode, so I ended up hitting the button several times, but it does have the cutest little accent. Listen. Oh. Let me put it back in try me mode here. See if it. Hello. Welcome, my friend. See, isn't that cute? Uh, so that's in try me mode, and then there's a slider on the bottom that you can turn it off or put it in normal mode. It comes packaged with the three AA batteries it requires. And then I was just looking here to see if there's anything in particular I need to do for setup. There's plenty of picture instructions. So it says playing with the scanner. It came with these stickers of barcodes, and it says that you have to scan the barcodes. Oh, that's cool. So you can put those on the different boxes. There's the, um, like a box of lollies, a box of cake, milk, and some cookies. So I mean like, you know, your main food groups, if you're me. Um, so then when you scan the barcode, the price that's on the barcode will come up. And the cash register actually sums up the total number of things scanned. Oh, well, that is pretty dang cool. Now, there are more barcode stickers than there are boxes. So that I don't understand because there's nothing left in this package here of mine. I don't think there's anything in the cash register. Let me check with my little key. So it comes with this little teeny tiny key you're not going to want to lose for the cash register itself. So let's try opening this and see what we get. Ooh, there is stuff hidden in here. Let's see what we've got. Coins. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's little dollar bills, just like home dollar bills. There's a 20, a ten, two tens, two fives, and then several little one dollar bills here. So we've got those. We also have a little just like home credit card, which actually has some heft to it. That's pretty cool. And <laughs> if you can look closely there, it even looks like it has the chip in it. I mean, kids see us using the chip cards now. So we've got some 10 cent card or coins, some five cent coins, 25 cents and one cent. So I only see the four boxes, however. So the 25 items must just be like produce, but then all these little extras you've got, cause I don't see anywhere else where that stuff can be hidden. 
So first things first, I'm gonna put my stickers on. I'm gonna say that this box of cake is $4.50. And I'm going to say that the lollipops are probably $3. And we're going to do $2.50 for our gallon of milk. Yeah. And then our cookies. How much should our cookies be? There's a really big jump in price. We'll say $5. So what's left here is what's left here is a 50 cents, 70 cents, 90 dollar, 650, 850, 910, 30, 50 and $3. So there's several barcodes left. So for all intents and purposes, you could get other little produce things like if your child has a little play kitchen even. Um, a lot of times that'll come with a little produce. You could put these on there because it's just reading the barcode. It doesn't have to come with it. So that's pretty cool. So we're in normal mode. The front faceplate is all interactive. You can add things up. See, and then clear it out. So that's a working calculator. This is a card reader. Let me see if it... Oh, it lights up Toys R Us. So that's where I got this from. That's pretty cool. So when it's in there, I don't know if you guys can see really well, but it's lit up. Yeah, there you go. It's all lit up. It says Toys R Us. Okay, so we've got the little microphone for, you know, price check, all that. Uh, the cash out button to open the, ca the cash drawer and then your key to lock it. But the part that really makes it fun when you're playing grocery store is the barcode reader, or the scanner. So this is my $3 thing of lollipops. Is it working? All right, oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So there's some buttons along the side here for um, multiply, divide, use the microphone, on, off, and then there's a slider cash here. Register mode. So that's cash register mode. Calculator mode. Calculator mode. So this is manually putting it in. Cash register mode. Cash register mode is what makes this work, because that's what it says. So three dollar. There you go. Nine dollar. $2.50. Uh, I think this one read this one wrong. $9. $9. It's reading the $4.50 as $9. I don't know why. $4.50. There you go. So it's not foolproof. $2.50. Uh, this is a $5 one. $3. Okay, so the trick I'm finding with the scanner is you can see the barcode here. You can see how this works. It's just a series of lights. So the lights read off the black bars on the barcode much like a real scanner works. However, if you see the little arrows on the top of these barcodes, they have to be lined up perfectly or it can misread because if you look, it's programmed with all of these in there and what it sees is what it's going to read off. Now I've got my total up to $50 because it doesn't really know what it was scanning because I was doing it wrong. So I'm going to put this back and then I'm going to see if the card works. cleared it out. So the card makes it light up, but it doesn't take the total off, I'm guessing. Yeah, it doesn't seem to take the total off when you do that. So let me try this. Let's see. Three 
90 cents. Three dollar. Three dollar. Still hasn't gotten it right. Five dollar. There you go. So thinks it's three dollars and ninety cents. It doesn't really know. Okay, let me try. How do you do you put the coins in anywhere or do you just kind of with this for a little bit I think that I've got a good idea of how it works and my opinion on it so my opinion on the just like home talking cash register is that it is leap and leaps and bounds more impressive to me than the leapfrog version because it can read the barcodes that's pretty interesting and the card reader is more interactive however I don't like that the card reader or the uh, scanner is so finicky. I know they really can't do much about that because I mean, it's a children's toy. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, but also that when you put the payment method in, it doesn't seem to clear it out and the instructions aren't real clear. It just says, you know, put it in. And it says the register will sum up the number of scans um, by when you press the equal sign button or, you know, if you're manually or as it goes. To refresh scanning memory, press the CAC button, just like a calculator. And then we didn't try this part out, so. Hello, hello. Oh, there's a speaker on it. This is pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that was something that wasn't even included on the Leapfrog County Register. So I like this one a lot better, I think. Well guys, I hope you had fun with this comparison video with the Just Like Home Counting Talking Cash Register. I like this one a lot better and I would highly recommend it over the Leapfrog Counting Register. And if, again, if you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out so you can see the differences I'm talking about. This one's really cool because it has the speaker ability. It has a working scanner, which let's admit it is the most fun part of playing grocery store cash register when you're little. Um, I like that it's got a card reader that's kind of interactive, but I really think it could have been better in two areas. If there had been more produce, because you have a lot more barcodes than you do items, and granted you can add those yourself, but it really wouldn't have taken that much. These are very simple. I think Leapfrog did a better job of having realistic looking products like cheese or you know strawberries or grapes or whatever and these are just little cardboard boxes which granted you know milk can come in a box and so can cookies so I get it but I think there could have been more here for that to put the barcodes on so that you didn't have to supply that yourself additionally there should be a way to put your payment method in via coins dollars the card whatever and be able to have it say, okay, you owe this much left because the educational value about learning about money and counting and you know equivalents is, could be really great with this if that had been built in. So I am missing that on this. I think I'm still hunting for the perfect talking counting cash register, but this one is gonna be high on my list for ones to beat. So guys, if you want to stay up on the new 2017 toy trends, as well as follow me on my quest to find the best talking cash register, you have to make sure you hit that subscribe button now and give us a big thumbs up. Comment below any toys that you'd like to see us review, as well if you have any suggestions for me to try out other cash registers that you're familiar with. I'd love to hear from you guys, as always. And until next time, bye!